All right, so uh, here's a little tutorial on how to use the clone stamp and various uh, selecting tools like the uh, marquee tool and the, um, the lasso tool and the magic wand tool. Um, I'm just going to briefly go over those selecting tools as well as the uh, clone stamp tool, this one right here. So let's get into it. All right, so in this model, there's a few things that I want to fix. Um, this doesn't look very clean to me, and I kind of want to get rid of... Let's just zoom in. Let me zoom in. And... All right, I kind of want to just have this line here. I don't want to have this line and this line. So what I could do is I could use the clone stamp tool to get rid of that and just select the clone stamp tool or hit S for the shortcut and then uh, I want to select my size and I want to use this this hard uh, paintbrush to select. Alright, so now I need to zoom in a little bit more. Let me, let me, Zoom in, and you kind of have to use an artistic eye when doing this um, and selecting material or pixels that will emulate what you're going for. And so what I want to do is I want to um, first select the area uh, that I'm going to be uh, cloning, and this looks good right here. Just for argument's sake, let's just say this is this is what I want to match to to this. Uh, so I hit Alt and select the area, and then you go up here and you notice that hey, that's that's the exact same thing, All right? But this is a little too dark, so I might want to use something from this area to come down here. But it looks like it's okay for this area right here. And then you could just go ahead and essentially paint. And you kind of want to just click and click and click and click and click till uh, it kind of just like vanishes away. You don't you don't want to see a whole lot of. Um, contrast with it. You kind of want it to blend. So um, so I like that and how that, that turned out. Uh, but I want to bring it up a little bit more. So right about here. So I select, oops, I select this area right here. And you'll notice on my screen that you'll see the plus symbol pop up every now and then. That's where it's referencing. So you can see I've gone to the edge over here when um, I'm right here. So I'm going to have to reselect somewhere. And you can see how you can manipulate your photos in such a way to where discrepancies can just be white clean. And I recommend I highly recommend that you do this prior to dropping them into your designs. Fix up what you need to fix up before you get started in designing your pages. And then toss in the final product where you need to toss it into. All right, so let me zoom out, and that is Control plus, or Control plus to zoom in, Control minus to zoom out. And you can see that looks a whole lot better. And if I zoom completely out, you can't even tell really what I did, except for this little area right here. But, I, you know, you can clean that up using the Clone Stamp tool as well. And so that's a little tutorial on the Clone Stamp tool. Now let's just say I wanted to select all this or you know what let, let's clean this area up right here so let me zoom back in command plus 
zoomed in. Let me get to this area right here. And then let me select the lasso tool. Now I want to use the polygonal lasso. Uh, and what I want to do is clean up this area right here. And I kind of want to just trim all this to make it look nice and neat. All right. I'm going to hit enter um, just for argument's sake. Now I can erase this or I can paint it black. Um, in this case, I'm going to have to paint it black because if I erase this, I'm going to erase this background as well. Now, if this was on a different layer, then you could erase this. Um, but let me paint it black so you can get an idea. So if I want to paint something, I can go down here or hit B for the brush tool. And then you see this little eyedropper right here? I can select any color on the uh, picture to match. And that's exactly what that color is uh, right here that I clicked on. Click OK. Click Brush. And you can see right here, that's what it changed to. Now you can select other colors um, that you want. So if you're working with two particular colors, you can have one color here, one color here, and switch back and forth from the two. Uh, but right now, let's just use black. And the reason why I selected this is so I can stay, my brush can stay within the confines of the selected area. And notice, even if I try to paint over here, nothing's going to happen. All right, so let's uh, continue. The uh, Polygon Select tool is, is really good for selecting stuff really, really fast. Now, um, what's even faster is the Magic Wand tool. And I'll show you how to use that. Now, remember in lecture, I... I said that you could use uh, the magic wand tool to select one particular color. Well, watch this. Obviously, there's some color change over here, but if I hit Shift, you'll see the little plus button, the plus sign right there on the uh, underneath the wand. I can just select some of this and add to the uh, amount of things that I selected. Um, I could select these areas right here if I wanted to. Here and here, over here, back here. You can get really detailed with this. Uh, obviously, I selected something over here that I probably shouldn't have. You can hit Control. I'm sorry, not Control. Option or Alt, and you'll have the minus sign. See the minus sign right there underneath the wand? And undo what I selected right here. If I wanted to add more, I can just hit Shift and add more. Anyway, that's how that works. If you right-click on the selected, you can, you can copy everything and throw it on a separate layer. Or you can just cut everything out of that picture and throw it on a separate layer. So let me, let me show you what I mean by that. So layer via cut looks like this. Let me shut this layer off. And this was everything I selected tossed onto a new layer. But you can't really tell. You can see how Photoshop just manipulates it just enough to where you utilize the layers to create an illusion of what you actually want. Um, but let me undo that. Let me show you. Let's take a step back and right click and layer via copy. So you can see how it takes that same area and puts it on a new layer. But it also leaves the original intact. So you can change this however you want or use this to your advantage. And how could you use this to your advantage? Uh, let's just say I wanted to change this to a different color. Let's use the magic wand tool. Get back to there. And select stuff real quick just to show you what you can do. So I can go back here to the color uh, palette 
And let's just say I wanted to have a, a purple, a dark, a dark purple like that. So I get a brush, right click, and let's just get a bigger. Okay. So now you can use this to your advantage. If, let say you wanted to uh, use the erase tool to kind of blend things or you just make cool effects. Um, so. Edit under. Anyway, you can see how you can take away some stuff to create. Oops. To create um, the illusion of a gradient of some sort. Let me go back to the marquee tool. All right, let's go back to the erase tool. And actually, I want to make this bigger. Bigger it is, easier it is. And then you just start far away. You don't, you don't really need to extend it too much. So you can start right here. Here, but if you can, if you zoom out, you can. Work your way close to the object, and you can see how you created. Let me zoom back in, control plus. And so you can see how you gave your background a whole different appeal. Anyway, that's, that's blending, uh, using the erase tool. That's also using the clone stamp tool to fix, uh, any discrepancies. And that's also using the various selecting tools. The, uh, this is the marquee tool. You can select spots like this. Um, Right click, uh, copy, and you can also mess with layers and, and shadowing. So if you right click and go to blending options, you can do a drop shadow or like an outer glow. And you can see how that layer has a glow to it. You can create boxes and stuff for fonts if you need to, to kind of separate your titles from the, uh, the design. Um, let's see what else. That's it. You can mess with drop shadows. Uh, drop shadows are, are kind of cool because uh, they add dimension to Let's say that particular box. Um, I know you can't really see it right here. Let's see. If... No, you really can't see it too well. Um, but you can play with these, and you can you can see how you can use them to your advantage. You can see if um, they work for you or not. Uh, you can always uh, select these, and let's just say I wanted to use a, a drop shadow and. Let's do you can also mess with the distance spread. And you can see, I don't know if you can see that it gets bigger. Let's look at the outer glow. So this is what the outer glow looks like. Um uh, 